You are looking at the oldest barn in Ada County, built somewhere around 1865. And it could well be the oldest barn in Idaho that's still standing. They call Frank Eld the barn whisperer. I listened to this barn and I said, there's a story here. When Frank started restoring this historic barn, four years ago, he found clues. Well, there's no doubt about it. that's where his inspiration came from because that's what he knew. Like square nails, round ones didn't get invented until 1890. The giant beams and posts inside weren't how people built barns in Idaho. The coup de gras was I found his axe in the barn. Now, a broad axe only has one purpose, and that is to hew beams. When he finished hewing those beams, put it up on a beam, and it stayed there for 150 years until yours truly, the barn whisperer, walked in and said, hey, there's a story here. Frank determined that Philip Schick built this barn New York style, where he came from. So I knew. And that's just one story of so many that will be on display this Sunday for Old Time Farm Day at the Schick Ostalaza Farmstead. You'll feel like you step back in time. With my own two hands, I till this land. The Dry Creek Historical Society started in 2008 to preserve this farmstead, and this marks their biggest fundraiser of the year and a great way for families to spend a Sunday and learn how people lived in the 1800s. Yes, this place is. It's one of a kind. We're going to have wood carvers. We're going to have hand weavers. We're going to have blacksmith. We're going to have a cream separator demonstration. We're going to have butter making. We're going to have activity activities for children. We're going to have music. We are going to have everything out here as well as food, a silent auction. We're going to have a bake sale, flower sale. All of the money that we raise and all the proceeds go towards this farmstead and um, helping us maintain it. And the vertical? 10 by 10s. Wow. Yeah. Like hiring Frank Eld to restore this barn, which he first learned about as a graduate student in his 70s at Boise State. It was fun. Everybody talks about my graduation party. <laughs> <laughs> the Barn Whisperer earned a Master's of Applied Historical Research last year, showing us it's never too late to learn something new and continue a life of passion. So my whole life has been involved with doing restoration of buildings, and it's what I enjoy. I love it. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.